I'll show you five different ways to export Power BI data to Excel, but also talk about when you should use which approach. I know you're gonna like number one because we would show you how you can export millions of rows, even hundreds of millions of rows to Excel. Along the way, we would cover some bonuses, show you how you can stop others from exporting your Power BI data, and a bonus hack, which is actually not supported by Microsoft, but works really well when connecting Excel and Power BI. Now, in the description below, you would find timestamped list of topics, so you can jump around to a specific topic if you need. Hey, I'm Avi Singh, Microsoft MVP and best-selling Power BI author, and if you wanna become a Power BI Pro, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you're notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. Before we dive in, I would like to hear from you whether you think export to Excel is a good idea or not. Now, I know it can possibly lead to chaos and everyone doing their own thing, but we all know that it's extremely popular. So let me know what you think, good or bad, just leave a comment below. Let's start with number five, export data from Power BI Desktop. So for this, we're gonna go to Power BI Desktop, which is the authoring tool in Power BI. Now, if you're authoring a model inside Power BI and you wanna quickly export something, maybe to check the data or check something else, then all you need to do is to hover over the, the visual and then focus on the three ellipses, the three dots, and if you click on that, then the option to export data should be right there. And what this is gonna give you is a CSV file, which you can, of course, open inside Excel. Now here, you see uh, I'm exporting a, a graph, a visual, a line chart, but you can, of course, export uh, uh, you know, tables and matrices as well. Just one note that I want you to watch out for. So in this case, we have a matrix visual with items laid out on rows as well as columns. It would not look the same when you export it. In fact, when you do export this data, you would find that the months, which were in columns, are now in rows. But apart from that, the data is there and it is exported to Excel. Number four is similar, but we have the export data option in powerbi.com. And oddly enough, this works quite differently than how it works in Power BI Desktop. So let's take a look. So again, the same file, but now it's been published on PowerBI.com. So here we are inside a browser window. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll hover over the visual and uh, click on the ellipses, click export data, but the similarity stops there because at this point, it's gonna ask you this question. Now it is basically, uh, there are two choices here that you can make. The first one is they're not that interesting. You can choose the file format, Excel or CSV. The other one is really interesting though because it lets the user choose summarize or underlying data. Now again, remember, once you have published this model online, you could have shared it with tens or hundreds of users and this could be any one of them using this option to export the data. So let's see how these two options look like. The first one is summarize data and this one is, is pretty what you would expect. So remember, our, our chart was basically sales and budget by month. So if you choose summarize data, it's gonna look exactly like that. So sales and budget by month. But let's look at the other options. So the underlying data. Now, if you choose this option, then it's gonna go and extract all the underlying data that comprises this graph. Now, this might be totally unexpected for you. In fact, as you can notice here, there might be fields and, and measures and variables and all of that sort of stuff, all that data, which is nowhere on that visual. So again, it's not the summarized data, it's not the data that's being shown in the visual, it's the underlying data coming from your data tables. Now this might be unexpected, and that's why I wanna, I wanna add a bonus here and, sh and tell you uh, how you can stop others from exporting Power BI data using the option that I just showed you. So if you do want to stop others from doing this, then before you publish it to powerbi.com, uh, what you're going to do is inside your authoring tool, Power BI Desktop, as the model author, you're going to go to File, Options and Settings, Options, and there uh, near the bottom, you have Report Settings. And in the Report Settings, there is a section for Export Data. Now the first option does allow them to export summarized data, but does not uh, uh, allow them to export underlying data. 
So maybe this works for you, or this one is the default, which allows uh, the end users to export both summarized and underlying data. Or of course, you can uh, uh, not allow either of those options. So export data would be disabled for this report once it's published on PowerBI.com. Now, before we move on, I also wanted to call out one other thing for both exporting data from Power BI Desktop and PowerBI.com. They both come with uh, some limitations. Uh, two of those are, for one, custom visuals, at least uh, as of now, uh, are not supported. And there's also a limitation on number of rows. Now, of course, in a later uh, uh, part of this video, we're going to uh, look at how you can export millions or even hundreds of millions of rows. So keep watching for that. Number three is actually my favorite way of connecting Excel to Power BI. So here we'll be connecting Excel to PowerBI.com. So once you have published your model on PowerBI.com, you would be able to see it under data sets when you go to your workspace or whichever workspace it's been published under. And there, once you find the data set or the model, I want you to click on the ellipses and then choose the Analyze in Excel option. Now, you may have to go through some dialog boxes, just open, click, save, next, whatever it asks you to do. But in the end, what you're going to get is this beautiful, pristine, amazing pivot table connected back to the Power BI model. And my, my, my friends, this is just mind blowing. Now, this is not uh, this is not a copy of the model. This actually doesn't have any data. If you save this file, it's probably going to be just kilobytes. And even when you add measures and build something here, even then this file would be really light because all you're using Excel here is basically as an advanced visualization tool. So all of the capabilities, all the tricks of trade that you've picked up over Excel, you can use that to build your report, but the beauty is it is connected back to the Power BI model as a single source of truth. Now, if you want to learn more about using Power BI as a single source of truth, where you're connecting not just Excel reports, but you're connecting other Power BI reports to it, you're connecting SSRS, heck, you even maybe connecting Tableau to it, and it's all coming from the single source of truth. If you want to learn more about that, then that is well covered inside my Power BI tutorial, and you can access that using the link in the corner or in the description below. Number two, maybe slightly advanced, this is export using DAX Studio. Now, this is a pretty phenomenal tool, which uh, and its use goes far beyond what we're going to talk about here. Uh, but still, so the starting point is make sure that you have your Power BI desktop file open. And you are going to need to download and install DAX Studio. Uh, and you can uh, do that uh, by just going to the link shown here. Now, once you have that installed and you open that tool, it's going to ask you to connect to uh, connect to a model, and you're going to have a few options. I want you to select the middle one, PBI, which stands for Power BI, and just select the Power BI desktop file which you had opened previously. Now, once you connect to that, then you're able to type in essentially a DAX query. So we're not going to get, go into too much detail about the DAX query here. But basically, you can you can type in a query, and here I'm showing you a very simple query: evaluate sales, which, which basically returns all the rows in that table. But then, of course, the question is: we're talking about how do we export this to Excel? Well, for that, you're going to change the output setting to file which when you run a query, it's going to send the output to a file. Now, with this one, you can export large data, but st it still can be problematic if you're trying to export hundreds of millions of rows. Oh my gosh, who wants to deal with that CSV file? It's going to be a, a humongous file. So let's talk about number one, exporting millions or even hundreds of millions of rows from Power BI to Excel. How is that even possible? But before we even go there, we got to cover our bonus hack. Again, this is something which is not supported by Microsoft, but is a really cool trick. So I know you're going to like it. Now, hey, if you're still with me in this video and finding it valuable, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and support our channel. So remember the part where I talked about connecting Excel to PowerBI.com? I showed the data set. I talked about the single source of truth and uh, I analyzed in Excel. Well, what if we wanted to do all that, but we did not have PowerBI.com? We were not publishing our model there due to some reason, right? So maybe you're not doing that. And instead, could we simply, you know, do the same thing, the same analyze and Excel magic, a pivot table magically connected to our model, but instead of PowerBI.com, can we connect it directly to a PowerBI desktop file that we open? Let's take a look. 
So again, first thing, you're going to make sure that the Power BI desktop is open. And then you're going to open DAX Studio. And really, you don't need to write any query. Do not need to write any query. All you need to do is once you connect to the model, then look at the bottom corner and look for this magic address. It should always look like this, localhost colon followed by some number and the number would change. So pay attention to that, note that down. And now open up a blank uh, or, or a new Excel file and just go to get data database from analysis services. And in the next box, I want you to type in that magic address and then click next, finish, okay, whatever you need to do. And that's gonna give you essentially the same pivot table we saw that was uh, we got from Analyze and Excel connected back to PowerBI.com. But in this case, there's no PowerBI.com. All we have is a Power BI desktop file, but now you have an Excel pivot table which is connected to your desktop model. Now, one word of caution here, the magic address that I talked about, that does change each time you restart Power BI Desktop. So I will say that mostly I use this option to quickly debug or, or build a prototype in Excel report. So this isn't a permanent solution. For that, I would still recommend the Analyze and Excel option that we saw earlier. With that, we are ready for number one, exporting millions of rows, hundreds of millions of rows from Power BI to Excel. Now, uh, the, the secret here is revealed on this slide, which is Excel cannot really hold, um, you know, more than a million or hundreds of millions of rows. So we're going to use the magic built in inside Excel. And I always say that Power BI essentially is already in there inside Excel in terms of these tools, Power Pivot and Power Query, which are the core components of Power BI. Now, if you want to learn more about how these all fit together, the Power Query, Power Pivot, Excel, and Power BI, how they fit together in the ecosystem, then I'm going to link to a video in the corner or down in the description below. So let's keep moving with our idea of exporting millions of rows to Excel. So in, inside Excel, once you've launched Power Pivot, then inside Power Pivot, go to database and then select analysis services or Power Pivot. Now at this point, you're going to type in the magic address, but in this case, you also need to click and select the database name. There should be only one listed, so it shouldn't be a problem. And, and at this point, you would have to write a DAX query similar to how you would write in DAX Studio, but then once you click finish, it's going gonna, it's gonna to export all of those rows from Power BI to Excel. And, and again, since since it's, you got the strength of Power Pivot, this can hold hundreds of millions of rows, if not more. Now, I showed you how to do this using Power Pivot, directly load the data into Power Pivot, connecting to Power BI. But you can also go through similar steps by using Power Query. Now, of course, my quiz question to you, my friend, is that which approach would be better? Leave a comment and let me know. So that was our top five list, my friends. Don't forget to join me live on my Talk Power BI show right here on YouTube every Friday where I would be answering all of your Power BI questions. Uh, just hit subscribe and click that bell uh, so you can join me live for that call. And if you're new to Power BI, make sure to check out my complete Power BI tutorial. Until next time, power on my friend. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on my friends.